Hello there, another problem today, generate parentheses. This is a pretty interesting problem. It's a combination of both uh, backtracking and uh, stacks. So um, as we recall, uh, the concepts here, it seems, uh, for the past couple of problems have been applying the stack data structure to our uh, particular problem. And so uh, it helps us better understand the usage of stacks and in this case, um, we are going to do parentheses, which uh, has a lot in co um, to do with stacks. Essentially, you have to open and close these items. As long as um, you have an opening, you can close it later in the stack. And so uh, if we were to do this in the normal backtracking way, let's say we have, uh, you know, at the beginning, we have two options. But now, in, in, uh, from these two particular options, we can have another two options. We can either go this way or that way. And same for this one. And, and for each of these, uh, we can choose to go another two different ways. So this is two to the n time every single time. And we will need to repeat this, um, well, I think, uh, well, we repeat this until we have all the possibilities, which is 2 to the n time. So this is a very slow process, depending on how many um, n's we have. So uh, what we're going to do instead is that we're going to, um, by 2 to the n, I mean like, so the first one's 2, the second one's 4, the third, third one's 8, and 16, 32, uh, 64, and it just goes up like that. So as you can see here, there, there are 8 options now. Okay, um, so uh, what I'm saying is, uh, if we limit uh, our uh, backtracking to only items that are within possibility, like, oh, we can only, um, like, get a close bracket, only close bracket if uh, there are, if there are more open brackets. And we will only we will only make enough open brackets, make uh, a total of n open brackets because that, those are the maximum number of brackets that we can have uh, for the pair. And that way we can open and close the brackets. Um, and we just need to do a backtracking to open and close at every particular spot to get all the possibilities. And those are two rules that we need uh, to make sure that this is the case. Um, the way I'm going to do it is by use of a string. Um, yes, uh, the reason why I'll be using a string is because the accessing and um, popping off the stack takes off uh, a lot of time. Instead, by creating strings uh, that we don't need to pop and that we can just build upon, actually uh like this this brand new strings every single time it's not that many strings um then then that way we will reduce the amount of time usage for the popping um we can see this uh in when, when i go through the two examples all right so let's start with the stack first or and then and then we can go through the string that way i think uh we can have a, see a stark difference in the time compl in the um well, time complexity is going to be the same, but the um, runtime based on the submission process is going to be much faster. All right, so let's get the stack to get our understanding going. And uh, here is our answers. Okay, so let's do our backtracking. And we have open uh, N and closed N. So if we have uh, an open n, which is equal to closed n, and which is equal to n, that means we have used up uh, all our um, like items, and we're going to append every join everything into stack and make a uh, string and put that into our um, answers uh, array. Otherwise, let's follow the first rule. If open n is less than n, 
then uh, stack dot append uh, our open bracket. Backtrack can now run on our open n plus one and our closed n because we did not make any closed. Then we can stop. Uh, then we can pop it afterwards after we go back into our current uh, backtracking state. So if closed n is less than open n, uh, this is our make our maximum uh, of uh, n opens. So then stack dot append close bracket and backtrack uh, open the n and close the n. This is the way we plus one and stack dot pop. With that, uh, we are done with this part, and we can run backtrack at 0, 0, and return the answers. As you can see, this was very slow in comparison to all the other answers that have been given by other lead code users. Um, I think there might be an issue here. Oh, yes, backtracking. I can't believe that that took so long. Um, submit. Okay. Um, so let's solve this more quickly now by using a string, okay? So instead of, uh, we, we just basically copy a lot of this and uh, let's just do it. Um, we can comment this out. Uh, let's just start over. Answers equals empty array and we're gonna define a backtracking. This time, instead of uh, having a stack, we can have a string here. This called brackets. And we have open n and closed n. Same thing if open n is equal equal to closed n equals equals to zero or equal to um, n. It doesn't matter which way you do it. So um, uh, we, we just need to answer uh, append brackets return as you can see as in the next few steps uh, let's open the bracket let's open n is less than n so and uh, what's gonna happen is that so we're gonna do a backtracking on just the brackets plus a um, open bracket and open n is plus equals one plus one and closed n is now empty. Same thing for if open uh, if closed n is less than open n, then we do backtracking of brackets plus close brackets, and now we have open n and closed n. So. Um, yeah, we just make sure that they're all equal. Right, let's get it. And the last step is uh, backtracking. Uh, let's start it off with a bracket and uh, with an open end just to start things uh, with uh, one and start with zero. And now we can return answers. Run the code. Oh shoot! There was a the closed end did not not. All right, run the code again. Okay, great. As you can see, this is now a lot faster. Uh, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What happened here? Huh? Interesting. Is it a lot faster or is it a lot slower? 
well, it's generally it's a lot faster. Uh, I think that was the off case. But there was a time when I got the 37 milliseconds, which is like 90 some percentile um, of all submissions because of this method um, by, by, by using a string instead. So um, that's how we do backtracking. Um, so backtracking would be the number of ways that we can actually get the bracket and adding up to the number of ways. So it would be O of N and uh, plus um, the number of ways to get there. Uh, um, and the number of ways is this special formula uh, in the solutions uh, that I'm not quite sure exactly. The, the space-time complexity of 4n over square root of n. Uh, it it's, uh, turns out to be the Kalina number, which I uh, am not too, like, sure how, how this is. This is, seems to be, like, uh, not linear algebra, but um, so um, this is some sort of um, I think it was uh, math that um, not quite sure that that's what that is about exactly, but I know for sure it's gonna run n times for a number of items that is possible, and generally the number of items that um, I don't know exactly what what what's, what is possible. <laughs> except for that. Um, so, yeah. But it, it is those possibilities. Um, all right, so I think that is definite enough. I mean, it is the fastest way of doing this. And uh, we got a pretty good O of n time. Uh, the time complexity is just the length of the, the 2n, basically twice the length of the number of uh, parentheses times the different possibilities uh, that are possible. And um, yeah, okay, uh, that's all um, for this video about how we can use uh, stacks to, you know, uh, introduce constraints into our backtracking so that we have um, fewer uh, possibilities to go through. And um, I guess w what's going on here is that we're just using stacks to hold information. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. For more videos, check the link in the description below. Thank you very much. And uh, please comment if you have any questions. Um, I'll see you in the next one.